The results of the census help determine how hundreds of billions of dollars in federal funding, including grants and support to states, counties, and communities, are spent every year for the next decade. It helps communities get its fair share for schools, hospitals, roads, and public works. Last week, the U.S. Census released the 2020 Census Demographic and Housing Characteristics Summary for the island. It's important to note that the COVID-19 pandemic impacted the quality of collected data on detailed social, economic, and housing characteristics for America Samoa, Guam, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Breaking down the demographics, Guam had a population of 153,836, with 78,271, or 50.9%, males and 75,565, or 49.1%, females. 11.2% of the population was ages 65 or over, and 0.8% were ages 85 or over. Children ages 0 to 17 made up 27% of the population. The island area census also asked households about their income in 2019. These economic characteristics exclude people living in military housing units. Now, of the 145,543 people in households for whom poverty status is determined, 20.2% or 29,408 had income below the poverty level. 21.8% of households received benefits from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Plan, or SNAP. The median household income was a little over 58000 Turning to 2020 housing characteristics, 52% of the island's households in occupied units were owners, and 48% were renters. The median home value was 277800 The median monthly rent was a little over 1000 Among all households, 72.4% had a desktop or laptop computer. 92.3% had a smartphone, and 60.6% had a tablet or other portable wireless device. Most households, or 85.9%, had a broadband internet subscription. With social characteristics, points of interest include 15.8% of households consisting of one person living alone. The median length of marriage for both currently married men and women ages 15 and over in households was 19.1 years. Of grandparents living in households with their grandchildren under the age of 18, 36.1% were responsible for their basic needs. 54.3% of grandparents caring for their grandchildren under 18 had been responsible for them for at least five years. The majority, or 86% of the population ages 25 and older, had a high school degree, and 25.3% had a bachelor's degree or higher. Business was the most common field of those with a bachelor's degree. To read up on more data for Guam, view census.gov. Jonagan Charfris, KM News.